Oh, what's going on everybody see here and welcome back to some more planet crafter so in the last episode we went and we explored some new biomes new biomes that are very neat very cool looking but today we've got more work to do because we've got a few things unlocked here um we've got the outdoor farm which wait i thought we already had that uh we have the outdoor farm unlocked and wait where did where did the beehive go or the the butterfly garden go wait i have one there i know we built it wait what hold on a second did did, did they change some things like there's some things like where's the butterfly oh <gasps> they moved it they moved it it was out because it was before this this was like the last thing so this was down here oh they're getting sneaky sneaky with some stuff okay all right so there was an update apparently <laughs> uh but anyways let's go ahead and let's check out one of these outdoor gardens and then whilst we're doing that hopefully we can get some silkworms um because we need silkworms for stuff now other things we need we need mutagen so actually you know what we should go and work on getting all of the stuff that we need from mutagen going um let's see here let me go ahead let me empty my inventory out and then let me go through and see what we need and then uh kind of go from there okay so for us to get our mutagen there's a few things that we need here so we need bacteria stable so we need algae and water and then methane and sulfur so sulfur is kind of the hold up right now for me um let's go ahead and let's do this let's see if we can't get another tier two ore extractor going and let's see if that was it three osmium three osmium a super alloy rod and another uh rod oh you know what here let's do this let's go into here go into here put that in there perfect hit the button take all of those go in here grab that all right do we have everything now perfect so i want to see if a, a tier two will get um sulfur or not if it does awesome if not then we'll just use tier ones and then we'll use the tier two somewhere else but we need to get sulfur going a little bit quicker um and it probably wouldn't hurt to get another water generation machine going as well i think algae were fine uh, you know what maybe another algae generator wouldn't be bad either just so that we were not like constantly waiting on all this stuff um okay so yeah look at one sulfur terrible all right so let me see if i get you and i put you there what are you getting okay you're getting sulfur fantastic all right so let's let that thing do its thing for now and i'm gonna grab some oxygen and or some water and food and then let's go ahead and also figure out another water collector and another algae generator okay so let's see um uh, lake water collector is three bioplastic nugget magnesium aluminum super alloy that's not terrible except for the bioplastic nugget and then algae generator bioplastic nuggets okay so what do we need for our bioplastic nuggets those are just mushrooms right pretty sure it's like mushrooms silicon and water okay so let's go grab a bunch of do i have any water anywhere let me grab a bunch of water and then we'll also grab a bunch of mushrooms wait was it mushrooms or was it eggplant it was mushrooms right yeah it was mushrooms okay i should have enough to get a decent amount of bioplastic nuggets now um i actually have a small uh base redesign idea kind of coming up in my mind place um, it's not going to be anything huge because like our base is pretty much kind of laid out how I, I really already want it. Um, but let's get as many of these as we can. Okay, so we're out of mushroom and silicon. So we have a total of seven of those. All right. So if I want to make a water collector, I need a magnesium and aluminum. So let's get another one of those going perfect that'll get us a second lake water collecting machine so we would not have to wait so long on that and then i want another algae generator tier two so we need fertilizer magnesium two super alloy do i need another algae generation machine 
Mm, probably. It, it wouldn't hurt. Okay, so second algae generator or third or fourth or whatever number algae generator this is. Let's go ahead and get this guy going. Uh, let's see. Algae generator. You like right there. Perfect. Okay. So that's going to help us with all of the things that we need in order to get all of the um, additional stuff that we need. Now, what I was actually thinking about doing here was a little bit of a redesign. Um, I don't exactly know fully what the redesign is going to be, but I'm thinking about getting rid of these uh, front two buildings right here. Um, so basically leaving this line right here as we have it. But what I was actually thinking about doing is having it run so that way this gets closer to the ground because now that we have exterior farms, I feel like our base should be a little bit more um, exterior instead of like so, cause like, like this makes sense for a station that's like, okay, outside's terrible, we can't live out there, you know, stuff like that. But now that we're getting to like the gardening phase, it might make sense to be able to like, oh, we, you know, to get from one place to another, you could run, you could run outside, you know, you'll be fine. Um, but we need to figure out what this is and well, we need to figure out, we need to make this. So, um, that's what we're going to work on, but we've got to get bee larva. I'd like to get more. So I'd like to get a silk generator going as well. Um, so we need all of that fun stuff now for fertilizer tier two, we need squash. Um, oh, and methane cartridges. Okay. Ooh, methane, you know, that might be another machine that we should get going to. Yeah, let's get another uh, methane. Let's get another gas collector going because that doesn't collect very much. I forgot. Is it three or four? Oh, it's only two. Two, an iridium rod, and three super alloy. Okay, so here is another gas extractor. Um, That'll work for now. Okay, so that way we can get some methane going. Perfect. Now, I'm also going to go ahead. I'm going to get squash going because I know we're going to need a bunch of it. Go ahead and get all of this stuff harvested. I love that they changed it to where they automatically like replant. Oh, that's so nice. All right. And then that's tier two is tier one. Tier one is eggplant. So we need to make sure we have a bunch of eggplant. We've got a bunch already in here. And we've already got these full, so we should be good. All right, so let's get uh, let's get our first outdoor farm going. Fertilizer tier one, fertilizer tier two, and bee larva. We have the bee larva already, and I bet you we probably have some tier one, tier two fertilizer like chilling somewhere. Okay, we might not have any tier two fertilizer, <laughs> which is fine. It's fine. Um, actually, all I need is an algae. So let's go and grab that. Okay, so there's the fertilizer tier two. And then all we need is the water and bee larva. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is exciting stuff. Okay, so bee larva, bee larva. And we're gonna need a water. Do I have a water on me? No, I have a bottle of oxygens. Okay, so first outdoor garden. Let's check this out. Um, here it is. How big is it? Oh, it's not it's not actually very big actually pretty small i wonder if oh <laughs> it'll stick on walls no i wonder if it will um kind of interesting how it places it doesn't look like it would snap to uh, a foundation okay so let's just kind of put this let's just set this one like right here there so there's like a watering side here Energy, plants, insects, growth. Oh, and then that's where we put the seed. Okay, so the, I mean, obviously the best seed that would probably be to go in there is mushrooms. Uh, because I think it says it gives you, didn't, what did it say? Um, insert vegetable seed to grow multiple vegetables. So that would increase the amount of mushrooms that we would be able to have because if i only have like six seeds in in those pods i can only have six uh mushroom plants i can't see anything now there's a bee growth is one percent interesting okay we're gonna let this sit oh look at our little mushrooms 
there's like four of them growing right here that's awesome that's super cool also i'm stuck in this super spooky music phase like the the music in the game is like super spooky right now i don't know why <laughs> it's been like that this whole time though um so we've got what four mushrooms it looks like growing that's pretty cool pretty neato I like that uh, but now that we have this kind of stuff like I, I definitely feel like we could maybe like you know redesign our base a little bit and um, I was basically thinking about cutting like this front half rooms off because we're not really utilizing them um, bringing this down so basically having the walkway go straight this way and then another walkway that comes down right here and then um, basically a walkway that comes like right up next to these gardens because then what we could do is we could have like little garden plots that have like these and like you know some bees next to them and butterflies and flowers and stuff like that I don't know we'll see um Cause that would be like a complete and entirely different base build. Ooh, that'd be a lot of work, but it could be fun. It could be fun. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, all right. So basically what I've been doing while I'm waiting is harvesting stuff so we can get a bunch of mutagen because I am still trying to get the silkworms. So, um, yeah, I was out harvesting water, algae, um, methane, things like that, getting it put away, getting some things already made up, but I gotta go get, uh, we gotta go see if we can't find some, you know what, let's go up here, let's see if we can't find a butterfly, I don't know why, but I feel like this area up top here is so pretty that it would be an X, what happened, is this not the same area that I thought it was, oh, Hold on, let's go back down. It was such a pretty area before. Did they change it? Or is it just because of the red storm? It looks like a red storm. Looks like we got some meteors. Are they regular meteors? Are they spicy meteors? Oh, they look a little spicy. Um, let's see here. What are you dropping? iron are these iron are they like basic resources oh yeah they're just basic resources okay huh neat all right we're gonna wait inside and hide and not die okay we survived um yeah it looked like it was just like a regular uh, regular resource um kind of thing there's like iron and stuff laying everywhere which is cool okay let's go back up here I want to see if there's anything going on with this place. I thought this place was like all nice and pretty and green and stuff like that, but maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of it differently. I mean, like there's stuff up here, but for some reason, I just, I thought I remembered it all being like green and stuff. Also, these plants are super cool. You know, that's actually almost the size of me. That plant might actually be able to eat me. I should probably stay away. Like I said, I think this is the balcony because I mean, it's like overlooking everything. Oh, look at that. It overlooks our whole area. Um, but yeah, maybe some, maybe some different design things for, uh, for our base building. Could be kind of fun. Uh, hey, look, it's a worm. It's a common larva though. I need uncommon. So, um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and just start searching for uncommon larva. You know what? We could probably just jump back to the base. Oh, he was like following me. Haha. <laughs> We we're gonna go back here. Whoa! It like pulled me down. That's crazy. Hey, okay. So now we're getting some uncommon larva here. Uncommon. Yay! Okay. So I'm gonna collect up a bunch of these guys, and then we're gonna do a whole bunch of um, mutations, and then try and get our silkworm farm going but at the same time like while we're doing that if we get a bunch of bee larvae that's not terrible because we need those for the outdoor farms anyways actually let's go check on our outdoor farm look at those that is our first crop grown outside in the natural oh that's pretty cool that's pretty cool i like that i like that a lot all right hi bees Okay, I think we have like seven or eight larvae. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to go ahead and grab another uh, swoop of algae and water. And then hopefully uh, we can get some uh, we can get some mutations going here. And maybe maybe get some silkworms. Silkworms would be super nice. Now I call them mutations. I don't know if they're actually called mutations or not, but like mutagen 
I think it sounds like a mute, mutate genome kind of thing. You know what I mean? Is this what it sounds like? I don't know. Okay, so let's see how much stuff we need here. Um, we'll go ahead and go to bacteria. We'll drop those off. Let me check my larval situation here. Okay, so we've got a total of four, five, six, seven. So we need seven. We need seven mutagens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. We're going to need seven methane and seven of those. Okay, and I think, is that everything we need? Oh, we're going to need fertilizer too. Shoot, I forgot about fertilizer. So fertilizers, algae, sulfur, and eggplant, and we're going to need seven of those. Algae, sulfur, eggplant. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Not really. Because I don't think I have... How much algae do I have left? Because I need... Sulfur, algae, eggplant. Mmm... Wow, this is expensive. This is expensive. Okay, so I've gotten, um, I got five fertilizer right now, but that's okay because, you know, as we go along and do things, is this just another one of those blue sky storm dales? Yeah, I think it was. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's start off. Oh, I need, I need some water. Hold on. All right. Let's get these bad boys beginning, shall we? So we know silkworm, uncommon, mutagen, and a fertilizer so let's go ahead uncommon mutagen fertilizer let's do it let's begin the process uh, i'm gonna let things run because start seeing what's seeing um because the only the things that i'm out of right now well i need more algae more water more sulfur um uh, we also need more eggplant more sulfur <laughs> more algae uh so much fun i kind of wish there was like some automation collection systems you know um, to where like we could automatically collect like the algae that's like chilling or like the water you could like connect them to like a storage unit of some sort or um again putting filters on the uh, miners that would be kind of cool too but you know uh, it's it is what it is and i'm having a blast and we got a bee larva wonderful oh <laughs> <gasps> yeah we got a silkworm oh i'm so excited about the silkworm <laughs> you, have, you have no idea oh okay Let's do another one. Oh, if we could get one more silkworm, that'd be fantastic. We could get our thing going. Oh my gosh, we finally got another silkworm too. So we should have a total of three silkworms, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy started up. And then I am out of fertilizer. So let's go ahead and let's just put our worms in here for now. And then what I need to do is I actually need to get some more fertilizer going here. So let's see. Um, was it was an eggplant then, and then I think it was algae, right? Fertilizer is sulfur, eggplant, and then algae. Okay, let me grab some algae. Let me get some more fertilizer. We're going to get the rest of our worms done up here. Um, and then what is the requirements to build this? Zeolite water auction, <laughs> easy enough. Um, but we'll probably, you know what we're going to do? We're probably going to wait until the next episode to build that because we've got a we've already got some things done this episode and i think that could be fun to explore that whole thing next episode so we might wait till then to get that guy going but that's okay all right we should be able to get two more fertilizer easy peasy and then let's grab two more of our um let's grab those two guys and then that should be everything that we need throw the algae in here we'll get our last two worms done up too now um i honestly don't care what these turn into uh, if they turn into bees, awesome. We can use them for the, um, the exterior gardens. And if they turn into more silkworms, well, then we can start working towards a second silkworm generator, I guess. Okay, so in total, we got two more silkworms and another bee larva, which is actually uh, pretty handy. Now, I need to do, I need to start doing some research on these other things. Well, basically rares, commons, things like that, just to see kind of like what kind of things we could get. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the larvas back in here. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of auto sort here. Okay. So we have a total of five. Wow. We have a total of five silkworms. Oh, we might actually be able to get two silk, silk generators. That'd be awesome. Um, okay. Cool. Cool. I like it. I like it. Let's go check on our mushrooms now. Cause our mushrooms should be done. Are they done? Oh, they are totally done. Okay. So now the seed is still in there. So I guess they just continue growing too. Awesome. Oh, that is super cool. I like it. I like it. Okay, so I like the exterior growy bits. Um, I think I want to. Um, I kind of want to focus on. I, I think I want to focus on having some more of those. Like I'm thinking about making like some kind of, trying to make some kind of pathway or something through here. 
where we can showcase uh you know like different crops different flowers different butterflies different you know things like that but i don't know we'll have to see maybe we'll you know what we'll probably end up keeping the base and maybe we'll just make like a little nature's path or something i don't know that has like different stuff i don't know we'll see leave a comment let me know what you think uh, but that is actually an end of this episode thank you so much for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did like subscribe all the fun things and i will see you in the next episode bye everybody